Hello beautiful people, it's your best friend. And today I have decided to come at you guys with a favorites video because I haven't done one of these in probably about a year now and I felt like I was gonna just hop back on the favorites train. So here we go, this is going to be my March faves since you know it's April. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. First, we're gonna start out with all my beauty faves. So the first beauty product has been in one of my favorite video befo videos before, but I have been wearing this foundation like crazy. I don't know, I wanted to start wearing foundation again too, kind of, because I'm kind of getting a little more reddish, kind of crazy skin. So this is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous. I cannot talk today. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I have been using this foundation like every single day. I This is the first time I've been wearing makeup since I've been sick since I've been sick all week. Which is why I haven't made any videos for you guys because I have been sick the entire week. But this foundation has just been my favorite thing ever. I used it for like the whole month of February and the whole month of March and I've been loving it. I probably need to refill it but hey it's good because there's still some in there so I've been loving this. Next thing has also been a product I've had for a long time but I finally went back to using it because I was in need of a powder. It is the CoverGirl Outlast, no, CoverGirl Normal Skin Crest Powder and I used to use this more than any powder in the world. This was my favorite powder like I cannot even tell you guys I would use this powder I don't even know I would just use this powder so much and it's just it just looks like this and it's kind of like a translucent powder honestly like anybody can use this for their skin tone because basically it's kind of white-ish toned which is why I love it so I think it works out perfectly for anybody who has like off-white skin it's perfect Next product I've been using like crazy has been this baby. This is the Monaco Blush Cheek Powder in Cosmopolitan. I got this in an Ipsy, I'm not sure which month I got this, but this color is so pretty. Let me just kind of try to focus it on this color. It may be a little bit deeper on the camera since my camera has very vibrant colors as you can see my walls. Look how orange they look, right? Anyway, so this blush has been perfect. I have been rocking this color on my cheeks forever now and I've been loving it so it's perfect and I'm not sure where you can buy this, probably Sephora or Ulta. I got it in my Ipsy, so yeah. The next thing I've been using like crazy for the month of March has been my Naked palette. If you guys didn't know, I got this because you might have not have seen my What I Got For Christmas video, and I got this, and oh my goodness, the colors are absolutely perfect. I'm wearing some today, and I love this eyeshadow look. It's kind of faded away a little bit, but um, I have a lot of different colors on. I basically have Virgin for a base and Sin on the eyelid, and then Smog and Dark Horse mixed together for like a crease color. It's kind of faded away now, but I love it and it looks so good. So I've been loving this palette for so many things. It's pretty shimmery, but I still have been loving it. Next is this mascara. This is the CoverGirl Full Lash Blue Mascara. And OMG, you guys, I literally love this mascara. It goes on, it lengthens your lashes, it goes on so smooth, and I have just been loving this thing. So I totally recommend buying this. It's pretty cheap too, and I love their Lash Blast line. So, this is perfect. Next is an eyeliner. It's brand new, that I bought brand new, and it is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Line Up Intense Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. I have been loving this. I need to, one second. I have been loving this, as I was saying, and it's just pretty good. Like, I, I feel like you have to dip it in a lot, but I still love it. Like, I think it look, works perfect. It's just a little felt tape, and it works so good. So, recommended by me. Next is this Up All Night Volumizing Spray, and oh my goodness, 
this. This is like so weird because it like is, okay, it's for added volume and texture, protects from heat styling for and for all hair types. So I have been loving this, it smells so good. I've been using it for like, make, giving my hair some texture. I have it in today and I don't know if my hair is too texturized because I didn't try on my hair today. Like I literally stood up before you feel and pulled some pieces out. Anyway, I've been using this for a heat protectant as well and it works so nice. Next I have this NYX Butter Lipstick and I got this in an Ipsy a while back too and I also got actually, I got this in an Ipsy as well. This is the NYX Butter Lipstick in Little Susie and I was actually wearing this earlier today. It looks super duper red on camera but it's actually a very pretty rosy-ish pink color that looks perfect on your lips. It looks way too red on the camera. Don't focus on that. It's pretty pink. And it's such a pretty color that I've been rocking basically every day because I've always been looking for a color like this. I thought it would be too red and it's not at all. It's amazing. So I love this. Next, I have been wearing this NYC Matte Me Crazy Mattifying Top Coat. And oh my goodness, I've always wanted a top coat. The only bad thing about matte top coats is you have to make your nail polish absolutely perfect or it doesn't look good. Like mine is literally chipped so much. But I love this thing so much. It is amazing. I love how matte my nails have been. Next, last kind of beauty-ish favorite type thing has been this Wild Madagascar Vanilla Sheer Perfumist from Bath and Body Works. Oh my goodness gracious. The smell. I have been wearing this every single day. I mean every single day. Oh my goodness. It smells perfection in a bottle and I love it and you guys have to try it. Oh my goodness. Please give me 50 bottles of this because I am in love with this and you need to try it. That was all my beauty faves and now I have like one uh, uh, food favorite or you know, you'll see. Oh my goodness, these icebreakers, strawberry. These are incredible. They're freaking double sided, sugar free mints. Oh my gosh, just look at this. It's like a strawberry on one side. Let's just take a moment. Strawberry on one side, some minty thing on the other side. These are delicious. You guys need to try them. It has one side, two share, which is barely any. And of course, this side is not share, which has like all of them on the side. So, oh my goodness, you guys need to try these. These are and then I love them. That's basically all my object favorites, and now time for TV show faves. So can we talk about Pretty Little Liars? Oh, uh, oh my goodness. I have been watching that show so freaking much. Like, honestly, I, not gonna lie, I started watching it maybe February, late February, and I, seriously, it's just perfect. Wow, I am not, I, I guess A was just announced recently on TV. I'm still on Netflix because like I literally just started watching it, don't make fun of me, don't laugh. I just got on the PLL train, but <laughs> I literally think Caleb is the hottest guy, but he's been already gone, so Caleb, please come back. Don't give me spoilers, please. Movie faves, oh, expelled since December. Yes, please, I watch it every single day and I'm freaking watching it right now. I love that movie so much. And another TV show favorite has been The Middle. It's just the funniest show in the world. Like, Brick, he's the funniest and he's so cute and I just love him and, okay, I'm gonna shut up now, but I've been loving The Middle, so yeah. Next is Song Faves. So, first of all, every song that's been released on Shawn Mendes' new album, Handwritten, which consists of Stitches, A Little Too Much, Life of the Party, Acoustic, which, oh my goodness gracious, and of course, Never Be Alone. That song touches my heart. Never Be Alone is the best song you will ever hear in your life. By the way, this is my new favorite phone case. Um, my cousin drew that for me. Thanks, Cody. I am loving American Dream by MKTO. That song is amazing. I love that song, so you guys have to listen to that. I've also been listening to Dear No One by Tori Kelly. That song, oh, 
it's so good like you guys have to just it's just it's just perfect it's just, it's just perfect it girl by Jason Derulo that song literally I want to cry like my friend posted this little thing on Instagram with that song in it it was like a relationship goal thing and I don't know I just love it this is like a random favorite but an Instagram account internet friend goals this is my favorite Instagram they literally just post like one second let me get to it they're like, okay, so they just like, let me try to get it in focus for you. I don't know if it's gonna, all right, this is what the account looks like. And they post little internet friend things. So wait one second. Can you see that? Oh. And they're just so cute and they make me so jealous. They make me want to meet Emily even more. And we were supposed to meet over spring break and I'm really sad now. That's what I for my favorites this month. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. I love you guys and bye.